Yo, 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 CPA Strength here, back again with another great video. We're just gonna really just get on to this one, okay? This is gonna be my best accounting question practice video ever. All right, this is 139 of the Accounting for Beginners playlist, best accounting playlist in the world on the YouTubes. Here's the whole playlist, the entire collection over here. This is my classic series. I, haven't, I forget, I forget about it. It's a classic series, right? So I found this question, a little qu quiz, a little accounting quiz in uh, on the internet. This little place called the internet. So we're just gonna. This is a fun. This is like a little puzzle. This is gonna be. I think this is gonna be fun. Let's read the question here first. Car repair shop started the year with 60,000 in assets, 40,000 in total liabilities. During the year, the repair shop recorded 100,000 in revenues and recorded 55,000 in expenses. Dividends of 10,000. What's the ending equity? All right, so we got we have our work cut out for us. We have some fun cut out for us. But first, let's look at uh, the DC Adler, debit, credit, asset, draw expense, liability, equity, revenue. Now, really, this is this is this really will help you mostly with journal entries. We're not doing any journal entries to figure out how much how much the Indian equity is, but the DC Adler will help us because we are going to have to do. We're going to have to find out. What's what's the ending equity? So we're gonna have to find out beginning equity. We're gonna have to find out changes during the year, which is net income, and where where things go. You know, you should always, if you're doing any homework, you should always do write out DC Adler first. It's gonna help you so much for any kind of problems. So as you know, debits on the left, credits on the right in normal balances or in increasing balances. But we're not worried about that so much here. If you've watched my previous videos, you know you know it, it contains balance sheet, it contains income statement, it contains where the dividends are, it's negative equity. So we're gonna see that play in. We're gonna, we're gonna use all of those in this, in this question, in this problem. So first let's go to now, and this is another reason why I like DC aid lure as opposed to other formats. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little little under the weather. Excuse me, a little under the weather here. Assets equal liability plus equity. Assets equal liability plus equity. That's the balance sheet. And you've got revenue minus expenses is the income statement there as you might you might know you might not know <laughs> draw is a reduction of equity it reduces an equity now a draw is short for withdraw that would be in a um, in a I guess a, a, per, a personal business Maybe an LLC, not a corporation. If you have, if you have an S corp, uh, a personal personal expense or the owner, or a personal expense would be a shareholder distribution. So it could be a shareholder distribution. That would be an S corp. If it's a C corp, which we have here as expressed by dividends. If you have a C corp, that would be dividends. That's that's profits given out to the owners of the of of the company who own stock in in uh, dividends. So a draw could either could be you know a withdraw, a shareholder distribution, or a dividend, depending on what kind of structure your company has. So we have dividends here, so we know it's a C corp, and we know it's a draw. We know it reduces equity. Because equity is like what you have in the business, and you're reducing that. You're you're take you're taking it away. You're reducing it. If we're trying to find the ending, if we're trying to find the ending equity, let's start. Let's let's start. Let's start by finding the beginning equity. Equity is 
how we find the equity um, by the basic accounting equation or the balance sheet it's assets equal liability plus equity so let's do that first here let's do assets equal liabilities plus equity start of the year car shop start of the year was 60,000 in assets so 60,000 and 40,000 in liabilities so 40,000 liabilities so we're just going to plug this in really because assets equal liabilities plus equity assets is 60,000 equals 40,000 plus well it has to be 20,000 equity has to be 20,000 so we're starting the year with 20 so we're starting the year we're starting the year with $20,000 in equity so we're going to go beginning equity now it's probably going to be we're just going to we're just going to keep we're just going to say oh it's beginning equity it's really if it's from, flowed through from the previous year it's probably a retained earnings but we're just going to say beginning equity of 20,000 now what happened what happened during the year that's going to affect our equity we we've know we know from other other previous videos that I've done watch other videos if you don't know we know from those that net the net net income flows over to the equity so we just know that from doing it a lot net income is what what is net income how we're we gonna find the net income net income is hmm let's think income income statement so we know we know the income statements revenue minus expense that's what net income is revenue minus expense let's see what our revenues was recorded a hundred thousand in revenue and recorded fifty five thousand in expenses so a hundred so a hundred thousand minus fifty five thousand well we'll do revenue minus expenses here we'll do it right over here we'll do revenue of one hundred thousand minus expenses of fifty five thousand and that's just like a minus in accounting language where you put the brackets around it so that's going to be 45,000 that's going to revenue minus expenses the income statements right here in DC Adler that's going to be our net income net income of 45,000 net income of 45,000 here also we have now you're like I'm not really sure what is the dividend do I'm not sure about a dividend I know that we have the D here. We have the D here. I know that's a draw, a withdraw. I know it reduces the equity. Um, I know that it's a distribution and a dividend too, because it stands for all three of those. And I've done those before. So if you think of, if, if you think about it, like you get you get dividend checks. People get dividend checks who own stock and company who own the company. So if if the company say well this company had uh, it started the year it started the year with twenty thousand dollars in equity and then it, it has dividends so the company dividends of ten thousand so it took ten thousand of its dollars and gave it to the owners so the company gave it to its owners so that means the company is going to have less of it now but anyways the dividend reduces the equity so net income of 45,000 and then we're gonna have dividend of ten thousand dollars reducing denoted by these parentheses that's gonna give us our ending equity here twenty thousand plus forty five thousand sixty five thousand minus ten thousand fifty five thousand so fifty five fifty five Fifty-five thousand is our ending equity. Right here, fifty-five thousand is our ending equity. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was a good video. Hope it helped you out. If you made it to the end, please let me know. Please let me know in the comments. I watched the whole thing. I love that. I did that. La I did that last video and like uh, got like four or five people who watched it till the end. I understand these are long. Most people have a uh, two-minute attention span and whatnot but i feel like i just don't get anything uh, accomplished in these really short videos anyways uh i'm starting to starting to come around here a little bit I'm starting to cook up 
I hope I hope you I hope you enjoy the videos and I'm gonna be making some more videos different kind of videos but of course I'll never ever ever leave the accounting for beginners basic series until next time CPA strength I'm out deuces